Uh, those of you who live here know the 281 is problematic. The lower decks of I-35, of I-10 are flooding, and you can see right there that is just crazy. That is, that is 281 right there. You can see the water over 281. So, you know, folks, even though the warning should expire here in the next 25 minutes oh, for Bear that. County, yeah, that is amazing. Uh, you know, when you get six inches of rain in an hour, hour and a half uh, in a big metropolitan area like ours, there is no way you aren't going to flood. As good a drainage system as we have in our city, this is still problematic. And so uh, Sky 4, World Car Sky 4 is up getting some unbelievable pictures. But you know, that's a cinch right there in that area that we're going to have that kind of flooding. And as well as on the south side of town, officially nine inches of rain and plus. Jackie? And there's two areas of 281 that are flooded right now. And uh, my producer just told me that uh, f the fire department is on the way to rescue that man. He seems a lot more calm. When we first spotted him, yes. he was waving uh, that clothing in the air at us to make sure that we saw him. And uh, we'll find out how long he's been there and how he got there. You he, know? Does, he doesn't look like he's far from 281. No, if I he just doesn't. saw that image as, uh, as our chopper swung. He doesn't look like he's really that far from 281. So they can toss him if they want. He is near uh, Bassey and McCullough. Eric, what are you seeing out there? Eric's in our World Car Sky 4 chopper right now. Eric, uh, you found this this man on top of the roof. Uh, where are you? And uh, and if you could describe what he was what he was like when he saw the chopper. Uh, well, he waved us down. It was actually our, our captain, Chris, was able to spot him. He was waving his extra shirt. Uh, we're not sure how long he's been there, but he seems extremely cold. We were just looking over the area, and he's very close to this intersection. This is the intersection of Bassey and McCullough. And so uh, we, we know emergency crews are on their way to try and help them out. And there's just so much going on right here, right now. You can see that there's a train that stopped right here. It looks like part of the track has actually been washed away. Uh, that's a problem. We saw a VIA bus that's completely submerged merged where the uh, hatch has been opened to where it looks like people were trying to get out and that's when we spotted uh, this man on top of the roof he's been there and we were able to get his attention by uh, by waving some of our clothes back to him and uh, he was able to see that and since then he's been able to relax a little bit more but for about the first 15 minutes that we were out here he was just waving at us non-stop trying to get us our trying to get our attention we've seen him go to the side over here and look at the water he's uh, he's in disbelief just as we are it's hard to believe that he's on top of a roof right now that's got to be you know 8 to 10 maybe even 12 feet high Eric, and, and you all launched about, what, 30 minutes ago, and the unbelievable pictures that we're seeing, you showed us right away that 281 had two different areas that were shut down that had water over it, and then you spotted this man. Now, when you spotted this man, we immediately called 911, and uh, now I'm told that uh, the fire department is on the way to rescue him, probably by boat. Uh, yes, we've, we've actually suggested they get a boat. There's no way to get to him uh, from a roadway. You can see it's completely washed out. This is the golf course. You can see uh, there's, there's part of the golf course there. But as soon as you get about 20 feet, 30 feet from the road, it goes completely underwater. Uh, tree, you can only see trees. There's no grass. There's some mud there. But it's going to be impossible to get to him unless they have a boat or maybe something with a, a long ladder that they can stretch to him. It's going to be difficult to get this man out of here. And uh, when we first arrived, he looked cold. Now he looks a little bit more and relaxed, Eric, uh, probably sensing that there's going to be someone coming. And Eric, I'm told that they are on their way. Our fire department, one of the best in the country, so they are on the way right now. They are launching the boat as we speak. So when you guys are spotted out there, we'd like to, to, to follow it over to this man who's been on this roof for, you know, we don't know how long. We, we really don't, and you know, I, I know at 4.30, I was awoken by just sheets of rain at my house, and, uh, and to think that there might have been someone stuck on a roof during that entire time, just getting pelted by all that heavy rain. Here's the VIA bus that we were talking about, or what we think is a VIA bus, a, a large bus for transportation. Uh, on the other side of the tree, you can see there's been a hatch that's been opened, so already one big rescue out here. Just a lot of things going on as we try and look for this boat from, uh, from emergency crews. And uh, I'm also told at this point that uh, the San Antonio Police Department's Eagle is launching as well uh, over this, uh, this man who is uh, stranded uh, on a rooftop in the 281 Bassey-McCullough area. 
our uh, World Car Sky 4 spotted him when they launched earlier, just uh, about 30, 40 minutes ago. He waved us down, and uh, our newsroom called 911 immediately. So uh, we have some help headed out to him right now. But again, uh, this is uh, World Car Sky 4 over uh, this shot of this it's man, which is uh, you know near that. 281 in McCullough. And Albert, it's okay. it's just unbelievable how us. much this flooding has taken over parts of our city, and it's going to continue to to be this way because the water is is going to rise. Well, we also have a continuation of the tornado warning. That's why I was trying to get your attention right down here by in Carn City, guys. If we can take this full screen, uh, th there still is, according to the Weather Service, uh, some reports on the ground of people spotting a, a rotation right in this area, right here where it's the same spot, De DeWitt and Carnes County, that we had the tornado warning. They have extended it uh, at uh, till 1230. So just to let people know in this area that the tornado warning continues up, uh, though we're not picking anything up on our radar at this point. Uh, thank, back to you. Thank you, Albert. And, and right now, as we speak, Albert, I'm being told that uh, Sky 4 is over the scene where the man is being rescued, or they're heading out to him right now. Uh, let's watch as they make their way over to that rooftop where that, that man has been there for we don't know how long. The rain started super early this morning. Then, of course, this area near 281 and Hildebrand uh, has been flooded over. Uh, our Sky 4 launched about 40 minutes ago and uh, spotted this man on the rooftop. And uh, we called 911. Our manager went ahead. She dialed the phone. She said, that's a man. He's waving the... Uh, a towel or a shirt or something, and uh, she called 911. And uh, as you can see right here, we have a, a, an emergency crew headed out to him right now. This is uh, near the golf course, is what I'm being told, and uh, it's near so Bassey and McCullough. That whole area has uh, going the wrong way. Has has flooded, and uh, I'm also told the San Antonio Police Department's Eagle has also launched as well. Uh, Eric, uh, where did this crew, this rescue earlier, and we spotted the man, we called 911, and uh, they are uh, heading out to him right now in their rescue boat. Now, these crews have been busy all over our city this morning. I know that there were two rescues uh, on the south side at 410 in Espada earlier this morning. Uh, families were flooded out of their homes on the south side, and uh, we've had these crews so busy this morning with just different rescues around oh, our city. Headed the right direction, Chris. And right now you're watching live. If you're just tuning in, there is a man stranded on a rooftop near 281 and McCullough. The and direction. this emergency crew is trying to get to him right now. Uh, we got shots of several shots of the there, flooding that's taking right place. Now. 281 is closed down on uh, two sections of the highway because of all this flooding. And uh, it's, you know, it's going to, we're going to continue to see things like this, unfortunately, throughout the day uh, because of the flooding that, that's happening. And They're going the exact opposite A lot of the water of, is receding uh, of, of right now, but in some areas, they are just starting to experience that the, flooding. The man is, right? So uh, we're going to... The man is... is to we're going to continue to watch Road. them as they make their way over to that man. We don't know how long he's, he's been out there. Uh, the, the, the rain started, Albert, at what time this morning? Because I heard it oh, in my house. It was 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. yeah. It, it has been flooding for a while now. Yes. And uh, it looks like we're trying to direct the fire department. They're going in the wrong direction, and it's kind of kind of hard to maybe get word to them that they need to turn around and head uh, I think, Eric, am I correct in, in that they're headed the opposite direction they need to be going? 10-4, uh, we're trying to get them uh, turned around back towards the train. We're trying to get them turn, turned back towards the train track. Uh, you can see, Albert, uh, just the, the you know, in, for, for a little bit of perspective, uh, look how small that boat is compared to all this water. It's like they're no. in a lake right now. Yeah, no, I'm sure it's hard to find, but hopefully... Uh, we, we can get word to them that they need to do a 180 degree turn so they can.